Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you my Reiki bill. Now, this bill, Reiki, is a slang word for reconnaissance used by the British military. The whole idea is to have a unit go to a location, scout out the location, and get the intel and get the hell back. So I can imagine that uh, the gear are very lightweight because you know they need to be uh, light and fast unlike a scout. Now a scout can engage a target, a recce unit can also engage a target but most likely they will not engage the target. So this build is all about the recce build. Now the rifle I use for this build is Daniel Defense DDM4 V7 LW. LW stands for lightweight now this model has been uh, discontinued by the manufacturer in favor of the SLW model which is stand for super lightweight. Uh, the only difference between uh, this lightweight and the super lightweight is the barrel length. The barrel length on the super lightweight is 14.5 inch barrel with a pin and well uh, flash hider. Now this is a 16 inch barrel, doesn't have a pin or well flash hider which uh, exactly what I want because I want to uh, have a uh, a uh, different uh, flash hider which I can attach a suppressor to it. Now what I have here is a six hour flash suppressor. Uh, not suppressor, it's a flash hider so I can attach a, uh, my suppressor to it. And the reason I choose this uh, uh, barrel profile, the lightweight, is that like I said it's lightweight, uh, way lighter than your average uh, M4 profile barrel. Now uh, the uh, the reason I choose Daniel Defense as a recon uh, rifle is that uh, they're quality uh, manufacturer, the quality company. So I I can assure that uh, the rifle will uh, most likely outlast me. The the, the barrel they use is a uh, hammer forged vanadium steel barrel. So uh, what that means is it's gonna give you more life, uh, the barrel more lifespan. So I don't have to uh, constantly change our barrel. But you know what, uh, for an average Joe, if you shoot like 100 rounds per month, uh, you can go through the barrel in like four or five years, four to 10 years. So I don't think you have to worry about that. Now, as far as uh, grouping on this barrel goes, uh, it's pretty comparable to the other uh, Daniel Defense model. You can easily get one MOA with a good optics, of course, but uh, because this is a lightweight profile barrel, uh, you won't be uh, dumping too many magazines without uh, losing the group. Uh, it, it could open up uh, pretty big if you dump uh, several magazines to it. But the whole idea of a recce build is not to engage the enemy unless you have to. So uh, I think it's forgivable. Now the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Daniel Defense Charging Handle. I think it's uh, good enough for uh, uh, your everyday use basically it's good enough for everything uh, pretty beefy beefy looking but it's not like super he heavy weight or anything like that and of course you know that's uh, now this lower I have is from my uh, Daniel Defense DDM4 V7 Pro so uh, I bought the lightweight uh, uh, upper from Daniel Defense Be because I have a good deal on the upper so I just gonna grab the lightweight upper and uh, continue with this build. The cool thing about Daniel Defense is that uh, they have a plastic cover. Some people doesn't like the plastic cover but I think it's uh, kind of useful. It does reduce uh, the weight just a little bit. So uh, you know that's uh, that's good for a recon uh, recce build. Uh, the other thing is that uh, plastic they don't freeze like metal. They don't uh, bound together like metal during winter. So that could be uh, one of the good thing about plastic. Now how can I forget the upgrade I made to this gun? Uh, I have a Strike Industry magazine release button on this side and a uh, Phase 5 safety selector. It's very smooth and it's very quiet compared to the Daniel Defense safety selector that's included in this gun. And it's quite uh, short too. So it doesn't uh, impede your trigger finger and did I mention it's really quiet and smooth also on the other side 
It's also a Strike Industry paddle and a Troy magazine release button. Now, I have a little problem with the Troy magazine button just going all the way off uh, when I uh, press the other side of the magazine release button, as you can see here. Uh, I think there's some kind of uh, there's, there's uh, too much thread for the Troy release uh, button. I don't know how to explain that, but whatever. Uh, you'll find out if you happen to buy one. So yeah, that's that's a three upgrade I did to this lower receiver. Now you have your usual furniture with Daniel Defense. You got a Daniel Defense uh, bus stock and Daniel Defense uh, uh, pistol grip as well as a trigger guard. Now I I don't like uh, neither of this, but I think this is uh, plenty fine for the build. Although I, I wish I had a, a different bus stock like the BCM or the Mac Pro because it allows me to put a ranger band on. Now on this bus stock, I can't put a ranger band on. Plus it's uh, kind of uh, rubbery on the uh, butt pack, butt pad right here. Uh, it, the rubber might pull your beer, you know, like, uh, but uh, it, it's not very grippy that it could pull your beer. But anyway, I just, there's just something about the uh, bus stock that I don't like, but uh, it does look cool nonetheless, have a QD point with a uh, various sling attachment point. Uh, the other thing I don't like about it is the bun is like right next to uh, the uh, the uh, castle tube, castle nut of uh, the buffer tube right here. So I didn't like that. There's a possibility for you to paint yourself. Now and uh, with the grip, like I said on my last review of uh, Daniel Defense uh, DDM4 V7 Pro is that it's a little bit too skinny for me. Uh, if the only thing I would replace on this gun is that the pistol grip, I just don't like it. But if I were to replace that, I need to also replace the trigger guard because it's a uh, one piece. Now, uh, the other thing uh, why I choose Daniel Defense is you might know the term when you buy once, you cry once. So why not go with the most uh, affordable thing that you can afford, but you know, don't cheap out on, on it. But anyway, if you were to cheap out on anything, do not cheap out on the barrel and the bolt carrier, which I think uh, both of this combo uh, works pretty well from a pretty reputable manufacturer. Now, the other thing I have on this rifle is a uh, an optics. I prefer a LPVO optics like the 6 hour Tango 6T. Now this is a 1 to 6X so I can uh, definitely uh, reach out up to maybe 400-500 yard uh, just to recon the uh, object you know just to scout out the object I don't necessarily have to engage the object so that's that's the whole idea of the uh, uh, recce bill you need some sort of optics uh, some people have like a very low power optics that's fine but uh, you know I want a little bit more reach now the cool thing about this uh, Sig Tango 6T optic is that it's also night vision capable and also have a backup red dot here with a 45 degree air socket mount now this is a Hollerson ACSS uh, 507 CX2. This is a Chevron dot. It's not a red dot, but it's a Chevron dot. And I really like the reticle and it's also solar power, so uh, I don't have to worry about the battery, at least in the, in the daytime. Now the Hollison can also uh, have night vision capable. I think, uh, yeah, I, I do have a night vision, so I'm gonna have to test that out to see how good it is. Daniel Defense does include one, not two, not three, but one magazine. Now they, they'll give you a standard magazine up there. It's a 32 round magazine. Now as far as uh, reliability go, it's, it's okay, you know, it's uh, pretty reliable because you know, all I did is just uh, range uh, target practice. So uh, I don't uh, put a lot of uh, stress on the magazine, but uh, I'm gonna have to uh, stress test the magazine uh, in a later video. Now the first time I bought this uh, uh, Daniel Defense upper is 
uh, I have a loose screw. Well, it's not like completely loose, but I have to re-tighten the screw. So make sure uh, when you get a Daniel defense, make sure you tighten every screw and bolt so it doesn't uh, go out on you. The trigger now, the trigger is pretty nice. Now I have a Gazelle trigger. This is a default trigger on my uh, DDM4V7 Pro. So I, I'm just gonna leave it be because I like this trigger so much. It's just so, the trigger is just so short. Take a look at this. There's almost no travel at all. It's very short and crisp, very lightweight. So there's no reason to uh, have any other trigger here. Now at first I want to put a binary trigger of some sort, but you know, seeing how good this trigger is, I uh, it kind of blew my mind how good this trigger is. So there you have it. This is my Daniel Defense DD M4 V7 LW Recce build. What do you guys think down in the comment section? And don't forget to stay tuned for more contents. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And remember, if anybody asks you, are you armed? Tell them no. You're armed AF. Peace out.